Hi, in this short tutorial I'm gonna talk about spread operator in JavaScript ECMAScript 6. Let's say that we have a function. Let's declare it, for example, function add with four parameters A, B, C and D. And our function is going to return the sum of these four values a plus b plus c plus d and let's say that we have an array of numbers first value is going to be for example 5 second is going to be 10 and third one is going to be 20. now let's say that we want to call our add function and that we want to use these three values inside our add functions as arguments and to add the fourth argument d for example to be any number okay let's try to add numbers array and let's try to represent first three values of this add function with numbers inside our array and the fourth number let's say that is for example number 100 that's gonna be variable d and as you can see we're gonna get an error we're gonna get an expected result so in this case we can't just simply we can't just simply use value variable numbers and provide three arg arguments to our function add but if we want to do that we need to use the spread operator so we're going to call again our array numbers and we're going to put as an value of variable d number 100 but we want to put three dots before our array these three dots represents our spread operator with uh, such usage now argument a has value 5 argument b has value 10 argument c has value 20 and argument d has value 100 okay let's try to run this function and as you can see we're gonna get result 135 because a is 5 b is 10 c is 20 and d is 100 a is 5, B is 10, C is 20 and D is 100 and our function is going to return the sum of these four values and that is of course 135. That's all in this lesson, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, this channel is dedicated to short video tutorials covering various different programming languages currently i'm having tutorials of python javascript typescript rust programming language and soon i'm going to put more and more video tutorials thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial